All right, guys, if you're just joining, good to have you here. We're going to be talking about today some of the leaked things that uh, came out with this last update. In particular, a lot of people were raving about transmog in the last couple of weeks. So it's really nice that uh, these leaked images that we found or um, Siri sent to us is actually transmog leaked images. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the first image here for you guys to take a look at. That, oh, oh, wait, sorry. That's the wrong one. Don't play, play, don't look at that. Fuck. Uh, this is the first one here. God damn. Why? How do I change? Wait. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. This is the image which we will be looking at. All right. Here we go. So we're gonna be talking about these transmogs here from this image. All right. Sorry about that. That, that, that was for the Hawaii meeting. Okay. 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 We're talking about this image now. Okay. We're talking about transmogs. Okay. They're coming out. Okay. All right. So we got five transmogs here as always. Every time they come out with a package, it's always is five new monsters. I mean, not five new monsters, but five new transmogs, right? In particular, I see the Hail Lady. I see a Rakasha, a Rakasha Sha, Rakasha Sa, or whatever, Rakasha Sha, Ra or whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because I see the whip. Uh, the one in the front that's got to be a Neilstone agent. The one on the left is uh, is that an Elven Ranger? I think that's an Elven Ranger. And of course, we have the Ifrit. So looking at this, it's very interesting because typically in the past, what they like to do was they like to release transmogs with only a couple Nat 5s or only one sometimes. And then like two Nat 4s and like two Nat 3s or something like that. But lately, they've been doing more Nat 5s, you know? So in particular, you can take a look at this here. We do have two Nat 5s in here. We, ha we have the Hell Ladies on the right and we have the Ifrits on the left. I mean, you can also include the Neilstone Agent, which is uh, Sylvia being a Nat 5 as well, but the only Nat 5 in that family. So let's start off with Sylvia since she's, she's in the front here. Do you, any, any any ideas on what this theme is? I'm not I'm not getting this theme entirely because uh, she looks like she's in some kind of a Asian outfit and like Theo Mars looks like she, he's got some kind of like armored unit and then you got like the the Maple Story looking uh, Elven Ranger. You know I think they have a, some kind of character like that in uh, Maple Story. That's what that's what it reminds me of. And then on the right is like see it's like it looks like kind of like kind of like a schoolgirl schoolgirl rocket shot well what is this what is this uh this theme that's going on here I'm, I'm not really sure yeah japanese kimono yeah yeah it looks like a japanese kimono it does yeah uh so overall looking at the nealstone agent though i like i like the looks of it the thing is that they've already released a transmog for them right we got that you know that nice that, that nice looking uh nealstone agent transmog already released so i don't know yeah, this one, this one's gonna be interesting. Like, is she gonna release some kind of like dragon coming out of her since she looks kind of like Japanese? I don't know. But uh, she looks okay. She looks nice. But I think the other one looks pretty damn, look, looks a lot sexier, yeah? Then is Christmas. Oh, is this supposed to be Christmas themed? This is definitely not Christmas themed. This is definitely not Christmas themed, is it? No, there's no way. This is not Christmas themed, which actually would have been a really good idea, but uh, they didn't do that. Okay, so I, I like the Neilstone Agent so far. Uh, let's take a look at the on the right side. Then we'll go ahead to the next, go to the next four star, uh, the Rakasha. It it seems to look like she has a whip that uh, I can't really tell. It looks like a plasma looking. It looks kind of normal, and then she looks like she's in a schoolgirl outfit. So schoolgirl, schoolgirl Rakasha. Is that what it is? I don't know. Schoolgirl Rakasha. And then moving on to the left here, you have the Elven Ranger. Like I said, it looks like a level 120 uh, Wind Archer from Maple Story. If if you guys played Maple Story before, uh, it looks kind of cool. I guess not really. No, I don't like it too much. There was that class in Maple Story. Uh, the one uh, and when they they have this hat that looks just like that hat. I forgot what that hat is kind of called. Is it called a tricorn? I forgot what it's called. Maybe a lion tamer, Rakasha, or schoolgirl. I think it looks more like schoolgirl. Yeah, I don't think if you're if you're gonna be taming a lion, you're gonna be wearing a skirt like that and uh, a uniform like that. Okay. All right. Elven Eight Ranger. Okay. We not not really used though. You know, what I'm saying Rakashas. I could say that I could see the whole family kind of being used. Uh, but I think there already is a transmog for Rakashas. Neostone Agents. I know they're definitely used, but there's already a transmog for them, so I don't know why they're duplicating that. Elven uh, Elven uh, Archer. El Elven 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 Archer or whatever. Elven Ranger. Uh, it's it's the first time that they're they're being released, but uh, they're not used widely. The only one that I specifically think is used a lot is is just. Pretty much the the dark i mean the 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 fire one adrian for nb10 and that's about it honestly yeah some of the other ones arguably can be used i mean the dark one's also good for nb10 as well but uh yeah i don't know and then moving right above that let's go to the nat fives right that's that's the one everybody wants to look at here the theomars right there i mean is that a theomars or is that a uh, variables but regardless it looks pretty sick but it looks very 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 similar to the transmog that's already been released it's kind of like armored looking i don't know how i feel about that i don't know how i feel about that yeah I don't know how I feel like that. It's like, 
And then after that, okay, let's move on to the Hell Ladies. Uh, I think this is the Hell Ladies first transmog, am I correct? Hell Ladies first transmog, I think, right? And it looks armored as well, very similar to Theo. Um, yeah, is that is that wings? What is that? Is that a cape? I don't know. So yeah, it's the first time Hell Lady is getting transmog. So I like that idea, but I really don't like the idea of using uh, Nat fours and fives that have already gotten a transmog, right? I mean, Ifrit arguably is a transmog that came out only for RTA people or people who um, ranked Guardian or collected the enough points, I guess, to uh, redeem one. But uh, from the uh, special league but i i think i guess and that one's okay but in particular the two nat fours neilstone agents and rakashas i don't like that idea by repeating them yeah i'm glad hell lady ain't hella sexy wait why why what zaya from league kind of kind of yeah looks like soul caliber costumes kind of kind of yeah it's kind of a so first thing i don't like how there's no theme it's christmas time i don't like how there's no theme second of all i don't like how they're repeating monsters and they're also choosing monsters that are not that viable like uh the elven ranger right and fourth off uh, the last factor, which is probably one of the most important on buying the transmogs, first is a look, but the last factor is we do not know yet how the transmog will look when it comes out because of the uh, animations that they will throw. Whatever animations that they have, we don't know what that'll look like. And that's kind of the big determining factor. Well, except for the uh, brownie, magicians, brownie magicians, right? No matter what happens, I would have bought, uh, gotten those regardless. But uh, in this case, we don't know what's going to happen, what their animation is going to look like. So that's a pr uh, pretty big deciding factor. I think I have one more picture here that we can take a look at. Yeah, we have one more picture here. I think it's a better look at them right here. Yeah, okay, Elven Rangers are sideways, but uh, this is a better picture of them, but we are missing uh, we are missing the Rakasha in here. But this picture does have a different view of the Hell Lady, the the, the Ifrit, and the Neilstone Agent. In particular, this one is Sylvia, which look, looks pretty damn sick to me, but let's be real, only about seven people in the world have Sylvia, so grats to them on getting this transmog. Yeah. Yeah, overall, decent transmogs. I'm more excited about the fact that I'm going to be able to transmog more of my efforts, as well as the fact of what kind of animations will come out with these transmog is one of the biggest factors, yeah? But uh, that kind of sums up the transmogs a little bit, guys. I'm very excited. Usually, they have released these uh, transmogs after they've been, they've been data mined in approximately a week i think the longest was like two weeks but usually within the week so we can kind of expect this transmog to maybe go live sometime this week i did also have one more leaked image that was sent which uh speaking of christmas wait how come that image is not showing up oh there you go one of the most pixelated things ever but uh it looks like there's gonna be a new building christmas themed that has snow yeah and i think i actually cut off the in the other image. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was just cut off. Whoa! Okay, it went from like being like really small to like the biggest image in the world. Oh, look at okay, and that is definitely 10 million percent schoolgirl Rakasha, right there. 10 million percent. Now that we have this view instead of the other one, I think it's actually a lot, lot nicer. These actually look pretty nice. They actually look pretty legit. The Hell Lady looks like some kind of like like barbarian. Yeah. Looks like some kind of like female barbarian, like or like an Amazonist kind of look to her. I kind of like that. I don't know. Interesting. Ah, schoolgirl Rakasha with a whip. That's a little kinky. All right, good job, cop to us. But uh, overall, looking forward to these transmogs. Hopefully, t sometime this week, and we'll be able to test it out and maybe show you guys some of the animations. And I believe I do have a lot of these monsters, so if we end up buying the pack, well, we can transmog a bunch of the ones I have and use it. Yeah. But alright, guys. Hopefully, that kind of lets you see a little bit of the transmogs here. And uh, kind of get a glimpse of this leaked, all this data mining leaked images of these trans hogs. Zoom in on, zoom in on the goods for the thumbnail. What goods? Alright, but yeah, okay, I'm very excited for these trans hogs. I'm very excited to see what happens, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that's all everybody wants to see, right? All right. So that's going to be it for these. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. There we go. I got you, bro. I got you. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Siri. If you enjoyed the video and want to support the Hana and look fly as heck doing it, check the description because we got some kind of new merch. Woo!